everyone. I'm supposed to be a blessing. This is a reading for my kings and queens, my lovely Leos. How y'all feeling today? Today is June 6, 2022. I'm blessed. If you're new here, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. If you like your own personal reading, you can always call me at 347-227-5723. Leos, what's going on for us Leos today? First and foremost, I feel as though we've planted a lot of seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth. We've worked extremely hard for the things that we have. You know what I'm saying? And now we could be reaping the benefits of what we have put in place for ourselves. See there? Working extremely hard. Reaping the benefits with the Eight of Coins. Hello. I feel as though here with the princess of wands. Oh, green does look good on us. Don't it fire signs? Uh-huh. Instead of a fire sign coming in. That is so beautiful. Butterflies can mean some things. But those are not butterflies. Those are fairies. We have a lot of spirits that surround us, you guys. So make sure that you're using and asking for their help. There are different kinds of spirits you can ask for. Angels, guides, ancestors, or reaches. These are fairies. The full card is a new beginning all day, every day. Passionate about new beginnings. We love beginning new things. We love starting out fresh and new and seeing something come to fruition in the end. Lots of emotional fulfillment and happiness. Uh-huh. Changes taking place. Ending of one cycle, going to another. And now, sometimes it's decision-making time. You got to choose the right direction to go in. That's when you use that intuition so you'll know which road to go on. The nine of coins. Somebody bestowing blessings upon us. Hello. Shit. <laughs> okay, so we're defending ourselves against others, but that's, yeah, all the time. I mean, it is what it is. And then the star card is the healing card. You know, Leo's. You see that's that heart? We represent the heart of the zodiac. If you didn't know, Leo's. But this is the Aquarius card. This is a witch fulfillment card. So there's some healing taking place in regard to somebody's heart here. It could be um, things are balancing out. Did I say go ahead and make a wish? I don't know, y'all. Shit. I be talking so fast sometimes. I don't know what the hell I be done saying. But it is what it is. The sun card is Leo, too. Y'all need to get out and get some of that sun on y'all. Because if you're a fire sign, you need that in your life. Lots of competition as usual. I don't want to go with that. I mean, shit, we already know. Seems like the energy of these cards haven't changed. But it, I have to do a reading for Leo. So I'm not going to leave us out. Fuck that. The witch fulfillment card. <clears throat> so anything we're hoping and wishing for can definitely come to fruition. The Empress card is here. We're birthing our new exciting things. The Lovers card is here so we can be dealing with new love or learning to love ourselves more so that we can teach others how to love us, um, what we will and will not accept. The Hermit card, you can be dealing with the Virgo. Um, get to ourselves to analyze the situations within our lives so that we can be on point when it comes to game. You know what I'm saying? Strength is Leo's. Hi, look at us. Strength, we're standing our strength. Gold is a good color for us as well. Make sure that you're drinking plenty of water, you guys. I mean good fresh water, spring water, something like that. Not that old tap water is good for you. Taking your spiritual baths and things of that sort. Your ships is definitely coming in on the horizon. I feel like you're going to be manifesting a lot of great things to come into your life with the Magician card. The Tempest card is a Sagittarius card all day, every day. Things balancing out for you. You have the Ace of Swords. That's a clad in truth. You're ready to swing a sword at any minute. The Chariot card is keeping things moving, hitting things head on. But the Seven of Swords, when there's some type of betrayal, I feel like somebody's gathering information on us. Because, you know, Swords is that's a communication. This person is gathering information. Um, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, somebody could be checking on you, gathering information. I don't know what the fuck they're going to do with it. But just so you'll know, keep your heads up on that. Um, our focus is our home life and things of that sort. But we're not afraid to walk away from people placing things that no longer serve them. But in this card, in actuality, is that we're dealing with our emotions. We're not running no motherfucking away. Well. Shit, we're going to stand our ground, right? We ain't going nowhere. This card is actually you standing in the midst of your emotions and working some shit out. All right, Leos. Well, I hope you enjoyed this message. Um, yeah, please like, subscribe, and comment. Remember, I'm Miss Blessed, and have a truly blessed day. Thank you.